Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. As some of you may notice, the new Intel Skylake platform and its CPUs just recently came out. And accordingly to that, and as usual, we got ourselves a new chipset alongside of it, the Z170, and of course, together with it, new models of motherboards. In our case, first in line is the Astrox Z170 Pro 4S, which comes in as a more affordable ticket to owning the Skylake platform. As you can see, we didn't get the usual retail packaging, since this was a sample, but inside this box we almost got the usual bundle, IO shield and optical disc with drivers and software, and beside that you'll probably get two SATA cables and some user manuals in the original packaging. Taking a closer look at the overall aesthetics, we can see that Astrock made few design changes when it comes to color scheme of the passive heatsink for chipset and power regulation. Instead of blue, we are greeted by the bronze color, which actually comes in a subtle amount with this model and goes pretty decently with the rest of the black color scheme of the motherboard. Although this is a lower tier model example of Astrox Z170 motherboard portfolio, you can see that it comes with a pretty beefy 10 phase power design, probably due to the fact that the integrated voltage regulator, also known as Fiverr, was removed from the CPU and put back onto the motherboard. The socket itself doesn't support older generations of Intel CPUs since it has one pin more, 1151 versus 1150 on Haswell and Broadwell, and you can notice that right away by removing the protective plate. The cooler mounting holes and their dimensions and distance are the same, so you can reuse your existing coolers. One of the biggest changes of the Skylake platform is the move from the DDR3 to the DDR4 RAM, which this board supports up to 64GB of capacity and up to 3200MHz of speed. This will help DDR4 in becoming a more mainstream product and thus cheaper, opposing the fact that for now it was only available on the Enthusiast X99 platform. Going to the bottom half portion of the motherboard, we have the usual set of X16 PCI Express 3.0 slots capable of dual crossfire configuration, unfortunately no SLI support for this model, and beside that 3 X1 slots. Nested between them we have an M.2 slot, which bandwidth is achieved through additional PCI lanes from the Z170 chipset and not the CPU, which is a great benefit, especially if you plan to use multi-GPU setup alongside with having an M.2 storage. Instead of one SATA Express connector, which was usual for Z97 chipset, now we have two on the bottom, consisting out of four SATA 3 ports, and supported by two more on the right side of the motherboard. Right next to them you can see the 24-pin ATX power connector and USB 3 header. The rest of the layout is pretty standard, on the bottom you'll find the usual fan and other connection headers, like the one for the front panel or USB 2 ports, 8-pin EPS power connector on the top of the motherboard, and a dedicated portion for the audio components. Back panel input output connections reveal a pretty basic layout supporting combo PS2 port, HDMI and DVI-D video outputs, 6 USB 3 ports, Intel's Gigabit LAN port and analog audio outputs. Thank you once again guys for checking out our preview of the Astrox Z170 Pro 4S motherboard for the new Intel Skylake platform. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you liked this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.